If Jeep is known for anything, it's producing vehicles that consistently underperform in crash tests. From models that roll over to ones that leak fuel, Jeep always seems to be bogged down with safety issues that don't plague other automakers. Since its introduction in the early 90s, every generation of Grand Cherokee has struggled in either a frontal or side impact collision. Did Jeep use the new Grand Cherokee redesign to finally end its poor safety streak? Let's find out as we watch the Jeep undergo a multitude of challenging crash tests. Let's start with the updated moderate overlap test, which now has a crash test dummy in the rear seat. The value of this test is that it tells us how rear seat passengers are protected in a frontal collision. Unfortunately, the Grand Cherokee performed extremely poorly in this test. The main concern is during rebound, the rear seat dummy's head precariously moved outside the side curtain airbag. This is extremely unsafe because it leaves the head completely vulnerable to impacts during a violent crash event. Prior to this dramatic rebound, the dummy's head dangerously approached the front seat back. The rear dummy also recorded a high risk for chest and head or neck injuries. In all, the Grand Cherokee had abysmal performance in this evaluation and scored the lowest rating of poor. Fortunately, the Grand Cherokee's performance is much better in the updated side impact crash test. This evaluation assesses how the Jeep would hold up if it was struck on its side by a 4,200-pound truck at 37 miles per hour. The Grand Cherokee structure performed decently well, maintaining 19 centimeters of distance between the B-pillar and seat center line. This amount, though, is notably less than the top performers in the class, such as the Honda Pilot at 32 centimeters and Ford Explorer at 24.5 centimeters. The driver dummy in the Jeep recorded a moderate risk of injuries to the torso and pelvis. This dummy's head was well protected though. The rear dummy has a low risk of injuries to all body areas. Overall, the Jeep scored the highest rating of good in this evaluation. It's worth noting that this rating only applies to Grand Cherokees produced after March 2023. This is because Jeep made improvements to address a catastrophic issue in earlier production models. This initial version of the Grand Cherokee had a flaw where a sharp piece of the underbody structure pierced the fuel tank and caused the simulation fuel to leak. In real life, this could have caused a serious fire. It's quite concerning that there's more than a year's worth of Grand Cherokees on the road with this defect. Let's move on to the small overlap crash test. With only 25% of the Jeep's front end striking the barrier, this test concentrates the crash forces. It helps us determine how well a vehicle's structure withstands a frontal collision. The Grand Cherokee performed very well in this evaluation on both the driver and passenger sides. The structure held up decently well, but some of the intrusion numbers are on the borderline of being too high. Peak intrusion is 10 centimeters on the driver's side and nine centimeters on the passenger side. It's not an issue at this speed of 40 miles per hour, but it could mean that the structure is reaching its limit and the performance could quickly deteriorate at higher speeds. Fortunately, the Grand Cherokee has controlled dummy movement and a low risk of injuries. Overall, the Jeep earned the highest score of good on both the driver and passenger sides. The only thing better than excellent crash performance is the ability to prevent a collision altogether. To help drivers avoid a crash, an automatic emergency braking system uses cameras or sensors to detect an imminent collision and autonomously applies the brakes. The Grand Cherokee was tested in its abilities to avoid collisions with pedestrians in both day and night conditions at speeds up to 37 miles per hour. We can assume that if the vehicle stops for pedestrians, it will also stop for vehicles which are larger and easier for the system to detect. During the daytime test, the vehicle performed well and autonomously stopped or slowed significantly in most situations. The Grand Cherokee also did well in the nighttime pedestrian avoidance test stopping or slowing significantly in most scenarios. In the 37 miles per hour test, the best response occurred when the high beams were activated. On the topic of nighttime safety, we're now going to explore the performance of the headlights. The Grand Cherokee has the option between two variants of LED headlights. They have nearly identical performance, but the upgraded ones have automatic high beams. Both variants of LED lights have low beams that fall a little short in the straightaway and the left curves. The high beams also fall a little short in most scenarios. The automatic high beams earn the upgraded headlights extra credit. These ratings only apply to models built after January 2023. Older versions had a problem with the headlights causing too much glare for other drivers. Overall, 
the Grand Cherokee has mixed safety results. On a positive note, the newest builds of the Grand Cherokee did well in the updated side test. It also showed significant improvement in the small overlap test over the previous generation. The automatic emergency brakes stop or significantly slow in most scenarios, and the headlights reach or come close to their targets. However, the dummy's head was left completely exposed in the updated moderate overlap test. There is a high risk of serious injuries in this type of collision. This is a completely unacceptable outcome, especially for a frontal collision. Unfortunately, this is a significant enough problem that the Grand Cherokee should be avoided. There are much safer mid-size SUV options. With its recent redesign, Jeep had a golden opportunity to break the Grand Cherokee's poor safety streak. That unfortunately did not happen again. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the safety performance of the Grand Cherokee's competition, check out this playlist of mid-size SUVs.